Hey friends, time for a quick little video. We are in Redmond today in Washington, a bit of a tech hub. And so we're gonna go see a couple of famous tech locations and I don't know, whatever else there is to see in this uh, fun little town. So come along. First stop then, Nintendo of America. I dreamed about coming here when I'd see the building in games magazines as a kid. Back then, it was of course Howard Lincoln, the uh, longtime CEO, and then uh, of course, who could forget Reggie fils the man, the legend. He led this company to some great success in the 2000s and has recently stepped down to be replaced by another longtime employee, Doug Bowser. You can't make this stuff up. So yeah, it's cool to be right on the doorstep of this incredible company that's really shaped a lot of my life. This is a great little campus. Unfortunately, there's not really much here to see. There's no visitor center, not even a gift shop. I think way back in the day there used to be a little miniature Nintendo museum, but that was kind of back in the Howard Lincoln days. Nothing quite as good now. It's all business here at Nintendo. Fortunately, there is a place nearby of similar uh, tech importance that does have a visitor center worth checking in at, and it's here at Microsoft. Who'd have thought a tiny little company founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen in Albuquerque, New Mexico would grow into one of the world's leading tech companies. Already I can see some interesting stuff here. TRS-80 with some of their first software. They got into the retail store a little bit after their sometimes rival Apple. But America has quite a few Microsoft stores I've noticed. More than we have in the UK, so good on them. Special edition Xbox from the launch back in 2001. I feel like I've seen this before too. Is this like one of the early concept models of what they thought the console might look like? I can't remember. It does have a nice like heatsink array on the back. It's probably just cosmetic. Imagine if everyone had those in their living rooms instead of that. <laughs> Although, the less said about the original Brute controller, the better. I've seen some of these business cards before the computer museum in Seattle that Paul Allen helped to set up. But these are really awesome. 819 Two Park Central Tower, Albuquerque. I don't hear a lot about the Microsoft and Apple collaborations, but they did happen all the way back in 82. This is the very first software and code that was written for developers by Bill Gates and Paul Allen. There's all the code here on the very old daisy wheel style printer paper and even the software printed on a roll of paper for 8k basic that is some seriously vintage software this is probably about the age that i came into the microsoft game i mean i did use the 3.1 computer but then Windows 95 was really where, you know, it was the era I got my first PC and 
the rest, as they say, is history. I've seen this picture before at the computer museum, but this is a pretty cool who's who of the Microsoft family. Right the way back in Albuquerque in 1975 to the present day. using AI to guess different things about you based on your facial patterns. I'm 36. Do you correct me? It I'm a border collie. Great athleticism? Mm, don't know about that. Of course, we have to have a Minecraft section to keep the kids engaged. A lot more welcoming than Nintendo were. And of course, always exit through the gift shop. They even have a demo of their amazing AR HoloLens glasses, so I'm gonna have a try. So here's what I didn't know about HoloLens. What you can see projected in the virtual is actually only a tiny little square of anywhere you're looking, maybe like that. But that being said, it was really cool to be in a virtual environment but not be shuttered off from the world, still be able to see everything. That's gonna do it for today. Stay tuned for more nerd ventures. Same nerd time, same nerd channel. See you later.